Hey everyone, so today I'm going to use these peppers here to spice up some homemade suckers. So let's go ahead and go outside and see where these peppers came from. So to give the suckers uh, the heat that I want, I'm not going to use uh, habaneros today. I'm going to use a dottle uh, pepper. This is a, a pepper that uh, came from Florida. I think St. Augustine. Um, yeah, this, these look good right here. So I'm just gonna use three peppers for the, uh, to give the suckers their heat. Let's see, let's get another one here. Whoops. So I'm gonna use the dottles rather than the habaneros. Plus I don't have any habaneros that are really right. These are peach habaneros. I have a few more habaneros there. These are the fish peppers. And these here are more the peach habaneros. They're, they're not gonna turn red. And the dottles have about the same heat uh, level as a habanero. All right, now that I got the peppers, I'm gonna start making the suckers. And the peppers here, like I said, are the dottle. And I chose the dottle over the habanero this time just to give it more of a fruity, uh, more nutty taste. It, it's not as hot as the habanero, but pretty close. So we're gonna try it with the dottle this time. And all we need is just some plain old white sugar, some caramel syrup, some food coloring, and today I'm going to use uh, some cinnamon extract. And I'm gonna use a little bit of Pam on the mold so the uh, suckers don't uh, stick. And of course, you've got to have some sticks to make the sucker. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the peppers and just slice them a little bit and throw them in some boiling water and let them seep. And while they're seeping, I'll come back and get the molds ready. I just got about a cup and a half of water there. I'm just gonna go ahead and pierce the peppers. This is what's gonna give us our flavor and of course, our hotness. So I'm just gonna let it boil and then I'll turn off the, uh, the heat and let them seep for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, I got my molds laid out. So all I'm gonna do, start putting this the sticks in there and we'll be ready to go. All right, now that I've got all the sticks in there, we need to spray the uh, molds with a little bit of Pam, just a real light coat so the candy pops right out. All right, we're ready to start. We need three quarters cup of water, so I'm going to use that water that I got from the peppers. I'm going to turn that heat on about medium. Okay, I'm going to add our sugar, two cups of sugar, and I'll put all the ingredients in the uh, description. And now we need the caro syrup. thirds cup and we're not going to stir this at all just let it boil or come to a boil by itself and when it does come to a boil I'm going to add the uh, coloring and I'm going to choose uh, like a hot pink uh, because I'm using cinnamon and pepper it's supposed to be hot so we're gonna let that go for a little bit. And I have my uh, eye grill candy thermometer in there. So we just keep an eye on that. And that's all there is to it. Now, if the sugar starts rising, we can scoot it down a little bit with the brush. But other than that, we just let it sit here. And, and as soon as it comes to a boil, we'll go ahead and uh, put the color in there. 
And then our goal is to get it to 300 degrees. That's the hard candy uh, stage or hard crack, they call it. And it has to get there or you're gonna have sticky candy. Okay, it's boiling there. So now I'm just gonna add my coloring. And again, not gonna stir it. I think four drops, well, I would get five drops of coloring. So now we just need to really watch it closely because it'll rise in temperature pretty quick. So we're gonna turn the heat off right at 300 degrees. And hopefully you can see that, it's 217. All right, we got a couple more degrees to go. We got 298, we're looking right at 300. Here's 299. Okay, there's 300, so I'm gonna turn the heat off. And I'm just gonna let it, let it stop boiling there, and then I'm gonna add the, uh, the cinnamon extract. You see, after I turn the heat off, the temperature's still gonna rise. Okay, it looks like it stopped boiling. So let me add the uh, extract. It's just the cinnamon oil by Leanne's Oils. And it's just one dram. That's all you need. Okay, I'm going to take out my uh, thermometer here without getting burnt. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it into our Pyrex. Boy, I can smell that pepper. And of course the cinnamon. All right, I'm going to let that cool just a bit before I go ahead and uh, pour them into the molds. Okay, I'm going to start pouring. You can really smell that cinnamon. And every once in a while, it kind of chokes you right there in the throat with that pepper. The dottles, like I said, they're almost as hot as a habanero. All right, they're all cooled, so I bag most of them up. It's real simple, just get some 4x3 bags, pop them out, put them in the bag, and there you go. Now you're going to have a few where the, the sticks didn't go all the way up and it won't fit in the bag. Well, you can just leave those out as uh, like bloopers or whatever, or duds, and uh, eat those first. All right. So all in all, it took about 45 minutes to do everything here. Uh, so what do they taste like? Well, I have one here that it wouldn't fit in the bag. So let's see what it is. Oh, definitely taste the cinnamon. Now here comes the burn. It's not a real bad burn. Well, wait a minute. There it is. But it's tolerable. It's not as bad as when I did it with the habaneros. It gives it a good flavor. All right, there you have it. Anybody can do this. You know, if you're looking, if you make suckers already, just get some peppers and boil them just like I did. Get the water, and there you have it. And you can also cut a little bit of the peppers up and put it inside here also. Uh, I might do that later, but right now I'm just having fun making the uh, hot suckers. <laughs>